This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is one of the best all-around bike locks on the market, the Kryptonite New York Standard. Now, to be clear, there are locks out there that are stronger and more pick resistant, but I think this is a good balance between strength, weight, pick resistance, and price. As for strength, we have a 16 mm thick shackle made of some of the toughest and hardest steel around. The lock body is a dual layer pipe, also of hardened steel, and that's about seven millimeters thick. Now it does bear note that an angle grinder will get through this, but few tools short of that will be successful. Now all of that steel does come with a penalty. This weighs in at a little bit over four pounds, which is heavy, but not as much as the ultra heavy weights, which can exceed six pounds. The pick resistance on this is fair. It has an eight disc disc detainer core that tensions from a random center disc. I would like to see them do a little bit more with it, maybe add some false gates, but it's probably good enough for the streets. As for price, you can usually find these online right around $100, which isn't bad when you consider others that can cost two to three times more. Okay, enough talk. Let's see what it takes to pick this open. The first thing we're going to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to get the pick that Bosnia and Bill and I made and try to pick up disc number one. Okay, we've got disc one. Let me find two and we can start picking. Okay, little click out of two. Click out of three. Four feels like it's in a gate. That's probably a zero cut. Five is loose. Click out of six. Click out of seven. And eight feels like it's in a gate. That might be a zero cut as well. Back to the beginning. Okay, two feels set. So does three, four. Okay, five is binding. Got to click out of five, six is set, so seven and eight. Let's try tensioning off of eight. Okay, I think we just set disc number one. Okay, we've got this open. So as I said before, it's probably good enough for the streets, but I'd love to see the company make a little bit more effort here. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.